Isaac, I'm in grade seven and I go to All Saints Catholic School. So I originally got my part in Joseph by, uh, so my mom has this company named The Traveling Stage. It wasn't my agent before, but now it's my agent. And she said, hey, do you have anyone in your program who would like to audition for this? And she said, can I submit my son Isaac? And my agent was like, cool, like, that'd be fine. So I did the first audition and I thought it went really well and I got a call back. And then the second audition, we had to sing a different song and I got a call back for that one. And then for the third one, I got another call back. And then the fourth one, you had to go in person. So I was really nervous going in person. And it was like really exciting to you know do all these things. They made a few cuts and I made it to the Sunday. So then my mom, came it like got the email from my agent and she said that Isaac got the part and I initially didn't know and she said come through the front door so uh, I went through the front and it said like congratulations and had balloons and music playing and I was really excited and it was like my first ever big booking so I was really excited. I played Zebulon and the Baker so in the initial Toronto version they had Donny Osmond the kids were kind of just like off to the side singing but in this one it initially started in the west end of London for the London Palladium and they like incorporated the kids as brothers and wives and they gave a few kids solos and I happened to be one of those kids and I was really excited to hear that because you know it was always kind of my dream to like have a solo and a you know a music and for it to be that big was kind of surreal. Like, it all just felt like a dream. So my favorite memory of being in Joseph was definitely meeting the adults for the first time. So they had a set Elgin Theatre in Toronto and we met the adults from London for the first time and all the kids felt really, really special because, you know, a lot of us had never worked with adults before for a show. So it was really exciting to meet them and then we started singing and all the kids were blown away with their harmonies and all their great singing voices and it was very impressive. So what I'm most looking forward to at All Saints is seeing all the new generations come in and you know seeing grade seven after grade seven and then you start to grow up and you start to be like hey I was a grade seven once and there's a lot of new talented kids coming in and I think we're gonna see a lot of great talent in the world from kids going to the school and the teachers have great compassion here and they're all so talented at their jobs and it's very inspiring. So my favorite thing about acting is you get to really express yourself no matter what you do. Someone will give you a role and you just have to, you know, kind of work around it to get your goal. But I also think drama, like my amp, actually brings people together because, you know, there's a bunch of things like I'm going to play, like collaboration, teamwork, and I think it's really cool. And acting is just something that I've always really loved to do. I always, like, dance all the time in front of my parents. And whenever some family comes over, I'll do that. Like, I've been doing that since I was really little, like three, four years old. So. Yeah, I, I just love to do it and it's my favorite. So I played hockey for like seven, eight years for a while, but I had to give it up because of Joseph because the schedule was like crazy. Like I, could, I had to pick between one or the other. And I had like always loved acting, but Joseph kind of like really did it for me. So I actually gave up hockey and pursued acting. And now I'm an actor who acts full time. So my goal in the future is to go to UCLA for film and TV and hopefully go to the, you know be a huge actor like a Hollywood actor but my parents always told me to dream big so that's my goal and I hope I can achieve it so listening with the ear of the heart means listening with love and listening with love is very powerful when you listen with your ears you kind of get in all the information which we kind of all do but when you listen with the heart then you find things like empathy and compassion and whatever the person's saying. So I'd like to thank my parents. I'd like to thank my family, like my brother and my sister. And I just like to thank everyone who's you know supported me along the journey, teachers, staff, students, family, friends, everything. I just want to thank everybody for supporting my dreams and working around me for my entire life.